Greetings from NYC, this is the Thor2941 coming to you with a NECA unboxing and viewing. This is none other than the GameStop exclusive NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Now this is the 90s version folks. Okay, and let's go by the lineup. Murderous Roll for all you Yankee fans. Michelangelo. Raphael. Leonardo. Donatello. That's right, folks. Look at that. I put the boxes in the back. A lot of you guys have already seen the boxes. This is uh, Michelangelo's box. Sorry for the poor lighting. I'm working on a display room. Look at that. Great boxing, man. I was going to get the um, San Diego Comic-Con version, but when I heard these were coming out, I wanted to wait to see how they looked, the packaging, see if anything was really missing. If it was worth spending that much money because I missed out on the San Diego Comic Con versions. Uh, I tried getting in there and they just kept booting me out. And by the time I got back in, it was just sold out. But that's neither here nor there. There you go. If you guys want to freeze and read it, you know, I don't really think you guys need the UPC code because uh, uh, these guys are on, on sale in uh, online, but they will be in stores. NEC is going to put out a whole bunch of them. I emailed them when I missed the first pre-order, and that's what they told me, and they held to their word. Because not even uh, a couple of days later, they were taking orders online again. And thanks to, um, I forget the gentleman who posted it. Ah, oh, crap. Sorry about that, folks. Just ignore that phone. And, uh, yeah, some guy in um, Collector's... Uh, I forget the name of the name. Uh, it's, a new, it's a fairly new group on YouTube. Um, rather Facebook that said that they were posting these guys for sale again and I was able to uh, get in there so shout out good looking out to the fit community for giving me a heads up and I know some guys ordered them and they got them smashed compliments of UPS wet boxes I heard some pretty horror stories I was very happy to find out that um I got these guys in very good shape although Raphael came by himself for whatever reason I was trying to order them as a group it wouldn't let me and I had to order them individually but I ordered these three together and then this one came separate which is weird because I ordered it all in one shot if that makes any sense um, this guy came very well packaged with bubble wrap and all that stuff these guys just came in the box loose so GameStop come on you guys make a lot of money protect the uh us collectors and your customers purchases online that's uncalled that's why a lot of people got their things smashed up and whatnot and believe me i used to work in ups loading the trucks and i know how these guys can tend to like give a crap but let's go down the road real quick enough my rant here he is michelangelo that 90s turtle version man look at that awesome he comes with two nunchucks the difference between uh, these two, um, the San Diego Comic Con and the GameStop exclusive, with this set is pretty much nothing. They're all the same, with the exception. Sorry about that. Of Donatello. The same. From what I'm hearing, the stick is a little lighter or darker, but not much of a difference. And the big difference really is this. See those straps? He's supposed to have those straps on his shell and his harness. The San Diego Comic-Con doesn't come with that. This one does. And from what I'm hearing, a lot of people want that. And I'm happy to be able to get them like this. Which, I don't think it would have bothered me whether he had it or not. But, I got him. And then we got Raphael here. My second favorite turtle. Look at that. Sorry about the poor lighting working on it folks but yeah these guys are awesome i came close to buying the sh figure arts versions of these turtles and i held back they were too comic bookish and i usually do like the comic bookish but they were just i don't know there was something just about them that i didn't like and i've always been a fan of the 90s movies as cheesy as it could have been was they got but i don't care i love them and this one is my favorite turtle Leonardo, the leader, 
but not because he's a leader. I just love these samurai swords. Look at that. Look at that. And he comes with the sheets in the back. The paint app on all these guys are pretty much the same. There's really no difference. So if you missed out on the San Diego Comic Con, I highly recommend these. I was on the fence until I saw them. I'm very glad I got these guys. The boxing, no, the boxes, obviously are different. I like the San Diego Comic Con box because it looks like an old VHS type uh, box. But these aren't bad either. These look really nice, actually. I almost was totally not opening them up, but I gotta let I gotta let my toys breathe. And the other difference between these and the San Diego Comic Con, these each come with one pizza slice. The San Diego Comic Con comes with an entire pie, so basically you get four here and you're missing four slices. The San Diego Comic Con version also comes with a box like a Domino's pizza type. Uh, box with a coupon on it for the eight slices as opposed to these four and it also comes with a little can of ooze and that's it the weapons everything is the same I'm sure if you look around online or you go to uh, Michael's you or whatever those little doll shops type things you'll be able to find more pizzas or someone selling them online just don't overpay you know, and if you saw online, there were people selling this set the day I ordered them. Days after I missed out on the pre-order and everybody started getting them. There was a guy selling these for, for 300 another guy for 2 something uh, I forget who it was I was watching. Oh, IE Hunter. Uh, shout out to him. He uh, was saying the same thing. And he was right. I remember seeing it. That's crazy. Yeah, blow these guys up. You want a scout? You know, you ain't getting me, man. By all means. Show your price and we'll reveal you. Just be patient, as uh, uh, my man uh, Plastic Addict says. Be patient with your hunts. He's so true, man. I'm not a patient person, and I've been heeding to his advice, and I got rewarded. I got the set. This set definitely gets the Thor 2941 Collect Vat. Looking forward to a Shredder, or a Krang, and a Casey Jones. April, I could really give a crap about. But if they make one and it's not too bad, you know, maybe I'll just get it down the road. But you know she's going to be a peg warmer. And, of course, the hand, I think they're called, right? I forget the name of the ninja guys that work for Shredder. You know, I can, I'm probably wrong. The feet, the foot, I don't know. I think it was the hand. But whatever their name was, those figures, I'm sure they'll come out with them soon. Because these are, are an absolute hit. Yeah, man. Oh, and a big special shout out to Mike the Hunter. Uh, for shouting me out and I'm glad you got your package and thank you for everyone who's been subscribing to my channel And leaving comments it is greatly appreciated and as I promised when I hit 100 subscribers, I will be doing a giveaway Okay, and every hundred subscribers I get thereafter. I'll be doing a giveaway not because I have to because I want to Fit communities from what I'm seeing. I'm so happy that we're sticking together congratulations to um Shardimus Prime for getting a review of the year, well deserved. And the other ones that were mentioned, the runner ups, were also, uh, uh, you know, well deserving as well. So, this is the Thor 2941 signing out. Get these turtles. Cowabunga, dude. Don't forget to collect that. Peace.